uh, those type of things is just all sort of like reflected in the music. So I, I sort of say like when I when I walk into the booth, I feel like I take a bunch of people in there with me. You know what I mean? And 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 that's just sort of the way I look at my responsibility. I sort of feel like um, to some degree I have been given the task to embody um, what it means to be able to create uh, new and fresh. Uh, music that's going to create different type of conversations, even for the African American community. Even. And it's interesting timing because um, Kanye West just came out with an album, and it was kind of a more spiritual, God-focused, spiritual transformation album, and it went number one in the country. Right. And I just read an article about Master P and his son. They want to talk about God, and and many of the. Uh, it seems like hip hop is kind of like going in this direction that like you've been in from the beginning, which is like talking about Hashem and talking about life and, and your self-transformation as a person. I think, you know, it's it's interesting for how do you see yourself like collaborating with, you know, other artists that have similar messages to you that are that are in the, the mainstream uh, music place? There's a major um, need to um, to be able to to connect with like-minded people, because generally most most religions they find a common area where they agree, all right. Uh, but I think that it's one of those things now where it's sort of like the war against God. You know what I'm saying? It's so great. Who's got time to be talking about the small details of this and that? And I'm very excited to see that there are people who've decided to, you know, um, sort of take a stand and be like, you know what I mean? I'm going to talk about God and my music and yeah and try to do it in a way where it's, it's, it's universally accepted by everybody. And when you look at the history of, you know, black music in America, it, it started off talking about God. Right, right. And, and, and it started off talking about, like, jo uh, journeys and acts of courage and being a, a hero or whatnot. And, and I would say, like, you know, what, you know, with, with your music in this new direction, you're going to be performing in front of a lot of um, African Americans, um, you're going to be on the radio stations. You'll be doing all these things. I think, you know, the, your videos, you know, is on the BET, you know, mm -hmm. and and so like what, like as an African American Jew, I, I I think that they the the mainstream world hasn't ever really seen right an African American Jew, right. and you're kind of like the first introduction right to that world. So what's the message, and and what can we learn from that? I think it's a it's an important thing for people to understand that we exist. You know, especially in America, most most of the Jews in America are Ashkenazi. Mm -hmm. So you will see and you'll be like, oh, well, Jews are white. This is the color of Judaism. It's not the color of Judaism. Judaism, you come to Israel, you have so many different shades and colors and so many different cultures, so many different, you know, and guess what? I can still go into that synagogue and that synagogue, and we're going to all pray out of the same, you know, the same prayers, essentially. So I'm sure you can identify also is that, you know, coming from where we came from and growing up the way that, that we we grew up, we didn't think outside of that box so much. And I think it's important for us because I feel like a lot of us, we, we, we end up so like institutionalized in the mind of thinking that this is what a black person does, this is what a white person does. And the truth is, is like once you've seen other people of color be successful, and go outside of what you thought was normal already. Once there's already a Oprah, once there's already a Jay-Z, once there's already a, you know, now you can't tell me that I can't succeed. Now that I see that it's already been done, you're not gonna sell me that I can't do it. You know what I mean? And I like to think that, that I'd be also one that, to put my foot forward and say that, you know, you can't say that it can't be done. Look where he came from. The you that you wanna be is not always gonna be in your space, in the yeah. area that you knew. Yeah. It may be somewhere all the way over there and yeah. you have to go and find it, yeah. you know what I mean? No, you're saying something really powerful and, you know, there's been a lot, like in hip hop specifically, there's been a lot of, like you have Kendrick Lamar, he talks about like, you know, being feeling connected to Judaism and and, 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 and like even Hebrew Israelites, you know, mm -hmm. they, they talk about that and Kodak Black, I know is very vocal about it. You know, maybe like like say the Hebrew Israelites, for example. It's you know, they they haven't seen people like you uh -huh. or myself, uh -huh. and and sometimes you know it could be a thing where people could take that we're not proud of our African American culture and our rich history and everything. You know, I look at it like you know, it's a bunch of us here in you know Israel. It's like 
to me, this is an extension of black culture. Yeah, absolutely. Like there were African Americans who, you know, were Christian and, and changed their domin denomination, or African Americans who were Muslim and got very involved in Islam and different denominations. Of that and there's like, and there's African Americans that became Jewish too. What can the music that you're coming out with say to you know people who have like these mixed conceptions about like you as a person and right. or us in general? Um, you know, I went to go speak with rabbis in Jerusalem. Um, very big rabbis that I felt that I was close enough to to be able to ask about, you know, what direction to go in musically. And, um, and you know, and it was very much so unanimously that you can do things and go places that other people can go and come out unscathed. And, um, and I was very much so encouraged to go into you. It's to some degree, you know, when I look at the, these different movements, the Hebrew Israelite movement, what I see as I just see brothers trying to find yeah. their way, just like we found our way. Yeah, right. Sometimes I feel like because, you know, we've joined the Jewish faith and, and we don't believe in proselytizing and going after and trying to go, because we don't believe you need to be Jewish to yeah. have a place in heaven. Yeah. So we don't have that pressure of trying to go and get other people because we feel like they're wrong or, you know, we're right or whatever. When you see things like this happening, yeah. different movements coming up, you yeah. know, and very strong ones, whether it's from the Hebrew Israelites, Black Life Matters, or the, all these different groups, right, yeah. who say it's starting to talk about this consciousness of who we are as a people, yes. and we, we could be all on different spectrums, right? Yes. But one thing that we see is that God's trying to bring an idea into the world. And whatever is trying to come down, this person may see it that way, that person may see it that way, this person may see it another way, but we're all trying to get to a common place yes. of understanding, and that message may come down and maybe not clear, but we're all trying to get there, and there's certain things that we have to sort of grab and grapple and figure out what it is, what that message is right now. I'm excited to explore and do different things with the music that sort of you know, reflects this consciousness coming into the world, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and back to the, the, the deal that you signed, I mean, a little bit about that deal and, 